Hi guys, welcome back. It's your girl, it's Elise, back again with another video. Today, I will be doing a different kind of video. It's kind of similar to videos I've done in the past. This is basically going to be a Q&A slash advice video that I'm gonna be doing specifically about body confidence. Very important to me, so I want to bring light to it. If you end up liking this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, make sure you turn on your post notifications your next time I upload, and also feel free to follow me on my social medias, they're always linked down below. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into this video. So there are some questions that I got specifically from other people and then there's questions that I kind of came up by myself. The first question that I got is do you count calories or do you base your meals on proportion sizes? I feel like it helps me more doing portion size most of the time because I do deal with stress eating which is definitely I feel like is a very common issue especially with college students with the amount of stress we're under. I feel like portion sizes is a great start if you're not really a numbers gal, boy, or anyone in between. Portion sizes will help you see okay how much of this do I really need to eat and after I eat it, do I feel fulfilled? I don't need to feel completely full, but do I feel fulfilled to my next meal or next snack that I might have throughout the day? Next question is, what makes you confident? Really great question. So my answer to that is basically reminding myself over time of the things about my body that I used to not love, you know, and kind of learning, okay, this is something that I've been self-conscious about, about my body. What makes it unique and what can I love about it, you know? Even though it should just, you know, go off the bat like, oh, I love it because it's mine, okay? Because God gave me this and nobody else, so period, that's mine. Ah, ha, ha. Sometimes we get distracted by social media, by even people that even tell us ourselves that, hey, <laughs> you look like that, I don't like it. And you know, that's cruel and it's sad that there's people that exist that say stuff like that. But what makes me confident is just understanding that, hey, this is my body, God gave it to me because he knows that around some certain time in your life, you're just going to have to accept this is the body God put me in. Why should I hate on it? And why should I wait for somebody else to love it when I can learn how to love it today. Just think of it that way, you know, and it will take time, but I don't need to be listening to other people that are telling me to not like it otherwise, especially for very non-valid reasons, which what is a valid reason to not love your body? Like what the frick? But you know what I mean. How do you deal with body shaming? And like a sub question to that is, have you been body shamed? So this is kind of answering both questions in one. I have been body shamed for multiple times. Looking back on my history of people coming at me about how I look, it really is sad because I realize the majority of the people that have done this are people that I'm not close with and people that I don't even know, that don't even know me. So it's kind of like they don't understand how my body operates. I know how my body operates. The Lord himself and me do know because he gave it to me and I'm in this body. How can you tell me how my body works? It was very upsetting at the time, but I realized over time it made me stronger and it made me want to prove to people wrong. Literally, I can be the same weight as you and still look like this. Literally, I can still be, still be equally as healthy as you looking like this. I can still be literally confident about myself, which I am starting to love myself again, looking like this. So why are you trying to ring my parade, okay? I will go Barbara Streisand up in here. Like, what? Well, nah. Body shaming is not fun. I basically have been through more verbal. Um, the last time I got body shamed, the person, it just bothered them so much that I look like this that they even went towards making a collage of pictures of me over the years when they realized, oh my gosh, she is not the same way she looked. That's kind of, <laughs> I know, but in the end, it just made me stronger, you know? What doesn't kill you make you stronger? I know that's very cheesy. If I go back in time to the person that I used to be when that, that body shaming happened to me, I would have looked myself in the eye and then like, girl, don't listen to these people because at the end of the day, do they know you? Uh-uh. Are they your God? <laughs> Heck not. Nah. Do they know what you've been through? Not even close. Do they even know how your body works? They not your doctor? Oh, come on, rain on. We don't need to listen to people. I know it's easier said than done, but over time, affirmations, self-affirmations, I know people are like, oh, that's so Pinteresty. They help. 
Get them positive quotes you save all the time. Those quotes, reading those every day, I didn't realize how over time they just ingrained in my mind. I do wanna say I apologize to anybody who has been through body shaming. I just wanna to say to whoever is watching this that has been through body shaming that you do not deserve it. I don't care how many thousand reasons you make in your mind. You deserve to be loved, okay? You deserve to be appreciated for what you look like or who you are. Don't let anyone tell you any different. How do you get healthy or stay healthy? I basically came up with my own method that kind of goes about what I did to get on my road of healthiness. It's called DRE. I know, we're not talking about a boy, we're talking about an <laughs> abbreviation, okay? Follow me, all right? This stands for discover, research, ask, and experiment. What do you do with discover? So for me, I kind of feel like I discovered this more when I was in the doctor's appointment. It was like a regular doctor's appointment. I wasn't feeling good or something. Like my congestion was acting up. So I was like, doctor, what the frick is wrong with me? And the doctor, like, besides going about my congestion problem, they even, you know, examined my health overall. They're like, you're obese. I was like, oh. It's one of the things where it surprised me, but I kind of knew. So I was like, ah, oh, got it, got it, got it. Got it, we need to fix that. I'm not saying I went straight to being a health nut the next day. But that kind of gave me a wake up call. I gotta make sure I take care of myself. And you know, also considering of, you know, my family's health history, like diabetes. Notice how I discovered that, okay? I realized that. That wasn't anybody, well, let me give the doctor credit. Doc and I discovered that, okay? It wasn't some random person on the street that saw you and just told you who your, what your life is and who you are just by looking at you. You know what the difference is between a doctor and somebody telling you what to do with your body and how bad it is, what not, or how good it is? The doctor has all the facts. They know what they're talking about. But now if this is like a family member, if this is like a random person off the street, this is a random person in your comments, <laughs> what the frick do they know? Absolutely nothing. Cause they don't even have your history record who got that? The government and the docs. Ain't nobody else got that. So I'm like, what the freak you telling me about that? But doc said, no, nah, I know about that. I said, yeah, you do. You discovered. You discovered this is what my body type is. This is what my body does when I eat this. This is what my body when it does this, when I do that, you know? And that leads on to the last thing, but I'll get to that. Next thing is research. Having like a document of like, okay, this is what fiber means. But this is how many fibers that's in something. This means, oh yeah, this is good. You know, this how much sodium in something. This means that no good. You know, stuff like that, you know? I'll put a picture of like the different sources I go to to kind of do my research. This is like with YouTube health people. This is like with people that even studied this because I trust their opinion without a doubt. And let me just note that this video is not me being a Miss Health expert, but this is just me being advice based off my experience. It's gonna be different for everybody. Using that and using even health apps is helpful. I know it costs money. You can get discounts maybe. Following people on Instagram that are specifically like trained in that. Like there's this woman called College Nutritionist. I swear this woman just sparked a like a little section of my brain saying, wait, <laughs> I wanna eat salad today. Wait, I wanna eat some granola with this. Like she really just opened that side of my brain and I'm like, wow. Thank you, Rachel. I think that's her name. That better be her name. I think that's her name. Just surround yourself with stuff that will remind you, this is what I should be eating. <laughs> this is what I should not be eating, you know? And then your body, I feel like your body will just, you'll feel your body. You'll feel a difference in your body. You'll feel like, oh my God, I got more energy. Oh my gosh, I wanna drink more water until I need to pee all the time which is me right now, ask. So important. When you're at your next doctor's appointment and you got the chance to talk to someone that can actually save your life or even help you turn your life around health-wise um, or even mental-wise, if you're going to um, your therapist, just ask, you know? It's their job to answer. And then experiment. Experimenting is what's gonna help you know what you like and what you don't like. That's kind of what I had to do. Um, <laughs> like for example, I was considering going vegetarian, even though I know that's not gonna happen because number one, I'm in college, which explains about exhibit A, exhibit B, everything, because I can't pay for crap. Because <laughs> I am broke, like B-R-O-K-E. Yes, that's how you spell broke, like all caps, like no cap. So being vegetarian will cost a hard darn penny out of my pocket. So I was like, never mind. So then I just start small. 
I'm like, okay, what is something that I know? Like, it just, every time I see it, I just go crazy for Cocoa Puffs. Pizza. I love pizza. Pizza is just like my kryptonite. Every time I see that Domino's commercial, I'm like, oh, I want me some pizza. And then my other kryptonite is dessert. I am such a big sweet tooth. If I feel like I need something sweet, like I'm like, at my desk, I need to buy something. I don't need to. But I really have an urgency to want to buy candy. And that's not good that I do that too much. Because then it becomes this unhealthy habit that I just allow for myself that we all know is not good for me. So then I'm like, okay, what can I... What can I start with? Let's just say I order pizza like for three days straight in each week. That's not good. Let's say I just start, you know, taking one day off from pizza. I eat a salad or, you know, like some salmon. Start to be like, all right. So then we make that a habit. We do that for a couple weeks. So then I'm like, okay, let me take it up a notch. Let's take another day out of eating pizza. And then I'm like, woo, it's gotta hurt a little bit. Then, you know, a couple weeks go by, you get used to it. You're like, all right, I can live without pizza. And then we get to the final one. Now I'm not saying you gotta cut out pizza all the way. To be honest, I'm not letting go of pizza. So then I'm like, okay, once every two to three weeks, which, you know, I've low key kind of, let me not lie, I kind of did that a little bit. So I'm like, okay, hey, oh, hey. So yeah, Dre, maybe it works for you, maybe it doesn't. That's part of the experiment phase. Okay, that was so corny. But you know, discover, research, ask, and experiment. Four things, you do it as you please. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys like it. I was a bit nervous doing this video because I still, I'm not perfect guys, I'm a human being. And I'm still self-conscious about my body. Like, like there will be a time in my life when I do love my body completely. I'm there, I'm not there yet, but I'm on my path. And that's all that matters. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys like this video and I just hope you guys remember that no matter what size, shape you are, you are beautiful. Don't let your shape or size dictate how healthy you are. You will know, you can feel how healthy or unhealthy you are. And the people that can literally dictate how truly healthy you are or not, um, not fit like visually, but like in here, is people that have the statistics, people that created you, which is God. And you would know because it's your body. So don't let anyone tell you any different. You're beautiful. No matter what you look like, you are beautiful. Don't let anyone tell you different. And yeah, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and turn on your post notifications. Also comment down below if you want to see more videos like this. I'm still trying to get a feel of what videos I want to post on this channel to kind of help my channel grow more this year. So just let me know. And yeah, that's it for this video. And that's a wrap on its release. Bye.